Welcome back. No doubt getting cattle to move and go where you want them to can be a challenge, but there are some proven methods that can make that challenge much more manageable for both the people and the animals. Let's hear what stockmanship expert Kurt Pate has to say about the value and the technique of low stress cattle handling. So when we're dealing and talking about effective stockmanship, if you break it down to its component parts, you're really working with the animal's mind, their brain. And the way to communicate with the brain, the best way is through vision. We can use touch and we can use sound, but out in the open in a big area, the way the bull sees us and how we are approaching his pressure zone is the most important point. So when I want to communicate with these bulls, the worst thing I can do is walk around behind them because that'll cause their vision or their eyes to turn and look at me. And that'll put them in the exact opposite direction I want them to go. So as I walk to their, to move them out of this pen, I'm gonna be real conscious of where their eye looks at me and where it points their nose. And I wanna point their nose right out this gate. So as I approach here, I step in and I approach these bulls in a way that causes them to look right towards the gate. So I have to get down behind this guy a little bit more and as he comes across, I'm gonna step over here and as we prepare him, I'll get them all prepared to go, trying to position myself where they're all pointed towards the gate and I will send them right through the gate. So I'm way up on their side and now I have control of their flows going through the gate. I can tell each one of them to go through there nice and orderly. I can step back and take the pressure off. I can step in towards his tail to bring his nose across. This last one, I can walk right by him. As soon as I get by the balance point, I can turn in, step in behind, and flow him right through the gate. What I had was complete control of these bulls' mind because I was in the right position. If you get around behind them, you have no control of their mind or their speed. So what we're dealing with when we're moving livestock is applying pressure. And if you apply the pressure properly, animals seem to like it and respond well to it. And if you apply the pressure wrong, they learn to fight it or hide from it. Bulls don't take pressure good. They like good pressure, but they don't like bad pressure. So as I move these bulls, it's real important to pressure them in the proper way so they keep getting better, or you'll have lots of trouble with your bulls. And your bulls are really your report card on how good your cattle handling is. So at first I look at the big picture here, I see all of them, and the first thing I want to do is just start lining them out, getting them, not putting too much pressure on, but getting them to change their mind and point them all in the same direction. Once they all get head and tail the same direction, now they kind of want to go, and all I have to do is step in, pressure him, straighten his nose, step back, ask this one to come forward, step forward. All I'm doing is applying pressure to each bull that needs it at the right time. So I'll send him on, send him on. Now right here, I've got to start widening out to point him towards my gate. As I widen out, I'll turn their heads towards the gate. I'll put some pressure right on this bull here. I'll step up to him. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the pressure on him all the way through. He's gonna push the other bull through the gate. Now this positions me here to apply pressure, take it off. I'll open the gap for this bull. He's not going, so I'll move in, apply pressure in the right spot, send him. Now I'm gonna send him pretty hard, so he pushes his way through the gate. This little guy right here, I'm gonna walk right directly by him. As soon as he gets by the breaking point, I'll just go with him. What this does, I'm out to the side, he can see me, and it causes him to push his way through that gate where the other bull's pressure can't push him back. So one of the real stressful tasks that we do with any animals in the beef industry is sorting. That's, that can put more pressure on than anything. But with bulls, it's not only the pressure of the handler, but the pressure of the other bulls too. So I like to sort bulls in a bigger pen. I actually like to sort all cattle in a bigger pen, but this will be a good way to show that these bulls can be sorted in a bigger area where they don't feel so confined and it'll just work out safer and better for everybody. So as I, the first thing I want to do is, again, get them pointed towards the gate. So I position myself 
to get things lined out. And as soon as we get them positioned, now I can decide, I can let him go, because they know how to go by me. I'll keep this calf here, this, I'll keep this younger one. Send him to the back. I'd like to keep this first, first one here, so I'll, I'll bring him right on around, come to the back. So if I've got them under control, I can position them and put them anywhere I want. I'll send this guy by or back to the back and I'll just keep positioning myself to where I can put myself in the proper place to get this older bull to come on by. I'll just walk with him. As I stop here, all the bulls are looking at me and wanting to go. This way they, get, they stay good at getting sorted or worked, but I got my sort done real low stress. Don't forget, the Beef Quality Assurance Program provides guidelines and training about best practices in beef production. You can get BQA certified. In fact, to start the process, just visit the website bqa.org.